Hi again, friends. My name is Serena, and I'm part of the visitor experience team here at the museum. And I'm going to show you guys how to do another craft today. Now at the museum, we have over 40,000 pieces in our collection, and they range from the smallest piece of China to a giant train. But my favorite pieces are always the more unique ones, like this piece. Now on the inside is a piece of floral crewel work, and that's not that unique. It's a piece of embroidered um, decoration all the way from the Victorian age. And the Victorians are people who lived over a hundred years ago. What was really unique about this piece is the frame that the family chose to put it in. Because unlike other frames of the Victorian era, it's not made of wood or bronze or anything sparkly. It's made out of leather. The craftsmen who made it took leather and handcrafted leaves, flowers, and even some berries and then place them on the wooden frame to create the beautiful 3D effect. And today for our craft, we're gonna make our own piece of unique decorative art that was something that you probably have around your home. We are going to make a painting out of salt. Now to make your salt painting, you're gonna need a couple craft materials. We're going to need some white glue and a glue stick won't work for this. You do need liquid glue, some salt, and uh, some paint brushes and some, now I am using watercolor paint, but you can use just simple food coloring if that's what you have. Uh, both work. My only note is that if you do food coloring, it won't last as long. It will get a bit crusty faster, but it still works perfectly well for making your picture. So either food coloring or watercolor paint, and then just some water in a cup. You also are going to need a picture of what you're going to draw. I did a picture of a flower because I love flowers and it is springtime finally. So what you're going to do is we're going to take our glue and you're just going to trace the picture with the glue. Okay, once you've traced your entire picture with your glue, this is when we're gonna take the salt and we're going to generously put the salt over the glue. You wanna do it a bit gently just so you don't mess up the glue too much, but you do want every inch a bit covered. And salt can be really messy and get everywhere. So to keep your guardians happy, make sure you're only putting it on your picture. So I'm making sure I just got every piece of glue. Okay. And once I have that, scoop all the glue and just very gently lift up my paper Put it all in the middle. And then I have my salt and my glue on my picture. And this is the really fun part. Now you get to color. So I'm gonna take a paintbrush and I'm going to just wet it a bit. And I'm gonna use green for the stem because it is a flower. And again, you don't need watercolor. If you don't have watercolor paint, green coloring works too. And when you go to paint, you're just going to lightly tap it. And the salt will carry the coloring throughout the picture. And you just need your paintbrush a little bit wet. Because if you wet it too much, the salt will dissolve. And now we get a new picture, a new color for the actual petals. And I'm going to do a purple flower. And when I dip it in the water, I'm not dipping the whole brush, I'm just dipping the very tip of it. And some of it will bleed, 
cheap just because it is water and soap and that's okay. It just makes fun colors. There you go. Once you're done coloring, you have your soap painting. And you just wanna leave it up to dry, and then you will be able to lift it up and show it off. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Museum Makers, where just like the Victorians, we made decorative art out of interesting materials. See you next time.